Hey everybody, Rich here coming at you with a video about the T-59 set, Flags of All Nations. This uh, set was released in 1910 and 1911 in um, American Tobacco Company products. Uh, these cards were sent to me um, by my good friend, Nuff Said Cards, Andrew. A lot of you guys may know him. If you don't, be sure to check out his videos, which are far superior to mine. He's a really uh, good video maker, historian, high-end collector. Um, if you haven't seen his videos, I mean, they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, he's got a lot of great stuff. And he was nice enough to send me some of these, uh, or actually all of these cards. I have about 30 cards from a, it's a 200 card set and if I understand correctly it's uh, there's four different groups of 50 cards and the first 50 cards are the uh, major nations large nations which I believe these this group is from and then there's uh, I just put any actual nation any 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 you know um, country national flag in this set i got about 16 of those and then there's uh supposed to be minor nations maybe some of these are considered minor nations too but then there's um from what i read there's supposed to be a set of city flags flags of the different cities from other countries but some of these are actually more like uh states within countries and um some other things i'll run through them all and then um, nautical flags, which I have four from the nautical flag series. But just real quick, I won't waste a lot of time on the ones that are obvious and everyone knows major nations like uh, here we are in the upper left. We got China, then Korea, India, Montenegro is a small European country west of Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of across the uh, water from Italy. Of course, we have Wales, Iceland, Spain, and Portugal. And then uh, Romania, Brazil, Costa Rica, and Malta. If uh, you don't know Malta, that's a tiny island in the Mediterranean. Kind of, I think it's kind of near Italy. I haven't been there. And then here's, okay, as we can see, we got some city flags up in the uh, left corner there. There's London and Madrid. Santa Domingo, I believe that's the largest city in the Dominican Republic. Uh, New South Wales, as we know, that's uh, one of the places they're having all those fires down in Australia right now, unfortunately. This one's interesting because, as far as I can tell, I did a little research on this one. This is, uh, if you can see that, it says German West Africa, which was never actually a country, as far as my research could tell. It was a kind of a loose term for a bunch of German colonial states in Africa. And by the time this card set came out in 1911, that terminology was on its way out. Um, anybody knows any more about the history of that um, they do at least they have some sort of flag so maybe it was some sort of loose confederation of colonial states in Africa but they're calling it German West Africa on the on the card and then we got uh, I think you say this one uh, Heligoland H Heligoland it's a German state as I as I, be I believe um, didn't do a lot of research on it. Um, maybe just a name check. And then Lubeck, I believe, is also another German state. Possibly city, city-state. Part of Germany. Saxony, another German state um, or region. See, in 1911, this was pre-World War I, uh, a lot of these... Um, political states and they may, they may have changed from being you know an autonomous country to part of the uh, larger Germany as we know a lot of things happened uh, at the end of World War One so the maps may have been with redrawn a little since these uh,
cards were issued so some of these may have been countries in their own right and they're now part of a larger country of course we have milan and naples from italy and then real quick let's look at the uh, nautical flags these are kind of interesting that one says international code m n o and p i guess each one of those flags represents a letter some kind of maritime stuff. I'm not real familiar with how that works. And then next to it, the fair weather colder. I guess that's a weather signaling flag. I could do a little research on these and try to figure it out. But I thought I'd just show you guys the cards and uh, I could do the research later. Pilot flag of England. It just basically looks like a Union Jack. And then we have the... Uh, Royal London Yacht Club, of which I am not currently a member. Anyway, that's it. I wasn't going to do a long video. I just thought I'd show you because they are nice looking cards for being a hundred and almost 110, 111 years old, something like that, 109 years old. I mean, they still pop pretty well. The colors are nice. Some of the backs are pretty nice too. Um, a few different tobacco companies or uh, distributors. Um, I won't bother to flip them all over, but there you have it. I'd like to say thanks to Andrew for uh, sending me those. I will be looking to pick up uh, some more. I don't know that I'll ever complete the set, but uh, I've got 30 out of 200 cards. It's a pretty good start, a little chunk of it. And uh, last thing I'll show you is this uh, Jake Stahl it's T205 1911. It's one of my favorite cards which uh, Andrew also sent me some time ago. So uh, that's my oldest card. I guess these all are because they're all from about 1911. But uh, that's my oldest baseball card from the T205 set. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope to be making some more videos and catching up on some of you guys' videos. I'm so busy these days, I don't get much of a chance for uh, baseball cards or videos or... Uh, much of anything other than work and uh, being a hockey taxi is my uh, latest uh, side job. But anyway, um, that's it. I'll say goodbye and uh, hope to see you guys all around. God bless. Peace out.